Hello everybody and welcome new viewers. Today we're going to work on more jump progression. The ranch has a pump track, dual slalom, and dirt jumps on site as well as camping. Steph is the park manager, ready to give you the rundown and welcome you with all types of information. This dirt was created for the Red Bull Dreamline and mixed off site for the best quality possible. On this jump line, we have five box jumps and four doubles to test your limits. Today, I will only have my trail bike for 2018 Bronson. The box jumps allow me to feel out the bike and ensure it's properly set up for these conditions. I tend to run higher tire pressure on the jumps and also close my front fork out oh so slightly. One of the most motivating things for me is seeing others riders crash only to dust themselves off and head back up for another run. Learning a jump line is top priority. What do I mean by learning a jump line? Each jump has characteristics like short, snappy, hippy, long, tall, or loose. The first jump is always the most important to dial in. This jump will set the speed needed for the rest. My personal style is to hit it fast and dial back the speed until it's smooth. Then start working on the next jump until you have the entire jump line dialed. So now it's time to move to the doubles to keep the progression going. I have a lot of trouble with the first jump and we all know I love to overshoot jumps. So I choose to use this transfer to give me more distance with a larger bike. <laughs> so you definitely dusty, so you bust out the hose, bring in a little water in the jump. Keep the dust down, a little bit of traction, there's sliding going on, but it's really running really good. These jumps were put together with some special dirt from Red Bull like seven years ago or something and uh, still running good. Looks like it's time for a long jump to close out this visit to the ranch. <laughs> Bro, that's kind of not funny. Morning, Nate. For the gentleman, we have No Breaks Nate, Lane the Wild Man, and myself. Let's give it a sin. Because you got so much weight carrying them upward. Yeah, that's what it is. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> that's so tall, Lane. Yes. You did, you did. You beat it, you beat, you beat it, it for foot. sure. <laughs> You got man. it by like three inches, dude. Good. <laughs> it was worth it, wasn't it's it? It's still one cut. Huh? It's still one cut. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it, but... <laughs> See, that's what happens when you begin sideways. <laughs> oh, I know. You uh, gained an extra foot, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's the mark? Where did I land at? You only gained yeah. like three inches, dude. Oh, man. I got all that. So for the ladies, we have Steph and Savannah. Woo! Nice. Right here. That's it? Yep. How? Oh, God. Oh, she's coming in hot. Oh, oh my God. Nice. Steph said, I got this. I got this. Look at that. That's a nice that two good. foot. That was way farther than that. Pretty good one. After you're at, only after you're done running can you have beer at the Reed Branch. But what we're going to talk about, <laughs> Steph, Steph, you, Steph, come here, Steph. Look, come over here. You know what? Watch this. You know, hey, guys, you know what this is, guys? You know what this is right here? You know what this is? It's called the Winner's Circle. Come here. Uh huh. So you have the male and female winner of the dirt jump competition. Uh, I'm Steady Spin. This is Steph, and uh, hoping any challengers long jump at the Reed Branch hit us in the inbox on Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. But don't forget, pedal a little harder, don't touch the brakes, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Ow, ow! Thanks, guys.